today I'm going to be teaching you about the chemistry of tears. But don't start crying just yet, because tears are very important to keep your eye functioning properly. Your eye uses 1.4 milliliters of tears every single day. There are three kinds of tears, basal tears, reflex tears, and psychic, or emotional tears. Basal tears are the kinds that lubricate the cornea in your eye, and they're the kind that your eye uses every single day. The second kind, reflex tears, are used by the eye to fight foreign chemicals, like the chemicals that your eye is exposed to when you cut an onion. The third type of tears, psychic or emotional tears, are the tears caused when you feel strong emotions or feelings, such as sadness, joy, happiness, or pain. So all together then, when we look at the three types of tears, it makes sense why you might cry when you are cutting an onion or when you're really happy. You aren't sad or happy about cutting the onion. It's just your eye's response to the chemicals from the onion. Similarly, these psychic tears are your eye's response to feelings of emotion, while the basal tears are the ones that help keep your eye functioning. So now, let's talk about some of the main components of tears. While these three kinds of tears do share the same major components, they do vary slightly based on the kind of tear. But back to the main components. First of all, we have water, which is H2O, or two hydrogen atoms bonded to an oxygen atom in a polar covalent bond. We have salts, KCl and NaCl, or potassium chloride and sodium chloride. In this case, we don't mean the salts you put on your food. These salts, in this case, refer to two ionically bonded elements that form a compound or a salt. Then we have proteins, including stress hormones, mucus, and antibodies, especially immunoglobulin A. Basal tears have the same water, salts, proteins, mucus, and antibodies, but they have more mucus than the other types of tears to help adhere the tears to the eye so that they stay there to help protect the eye. Reflex tears contain more antibodies and less mucus and proteins because the antibodies are what fight the foreign chemicals. Immunoglobin A is the primary antibody. For psychic tears, they contain more proteins, including the stress hormones, which is why when you cry psychic tears, you feel relief because it gets rid of stress and depression. So at this point, you may be asking yourself, what if the eyes, for whatever reason, can't produce tears. Well, you're right. There's a condition called keratoconjunctivitis sicca, or dry eyes. In this condition, people have limited tear production, resulting in dryness or irritation of the eyes. A common treatment for dry eyes is artificial tears. And while the main components of artificial tears vary based on the brand or type of artificial tears, these are the three main components. For polyvinyl alcohol, it's two carbons, four hydrogen, and an oxygen atom bonded together. Polyvinyl alcohol is a synthetically produced polymer. Polymer means that it is made up of individual units stuck together to form a long chain. Polyvinyl alcohol is created using a chemical reaction between oxygen and acetic acid to form vinyl acetate. From there, vinyl acetate is polymerized. There's that word again. Polymerized means, once again, the monomers being stuck together to form a long chain. And their vinyl acetate, after being polymerized, is dissolved into alcohol to end up with polyvinyl alcohol. The second most common component in artificial tears is carboxymethylcellulose, which is composed of eight carbons, 15 hydrogens, one sodium, and eight oxygen atoms. Carboxymethylcellulose is synthetic and is made using chloroacetic acid and cellulose combined in an alkali catalyzed reaction. The third most common ingredient is glycerin. Thank you for watching my video on the chemistry of tears. If you'd like to learn more about the chemistry of tears or other random fascinating facts about chemistry, please visit www.chemistryislife.com. Thank you.